this lady just wants to oh 50% off get her 50% off Ooh, cold brews but I'm here first off the person just wants um, COVID tests two COVID tests so I'm gonna get these it's worth seven dollars it's going two miles let's get man I'm walking so fast I'm confusing y'all let's get this money oh what is this I'm so distracted all right y'all we're at the Walgreens I gotta pick up four items the person only wants four items it's five units eight dollars going two miles let's get his stuff and let's get out of here it shouldn't take too long though to get his stuff since it's only four items but dang it they got a line in here sheesh y'all see me great all right so we're about to do something we ain't done in a long time doordash so i cannot get on um uber eats until eight o'clock because i worked so late last night i have to reset my 12 hours so i can't get on it till eight o'clock um yeah and the promotion starts at six over there so i'm gonna miss the first like round of promotion but that's okay um i mean getting my sleep in and everything like that so i'm gonna be pulling the all-nighter so just gonna be like all-nighter i did a couple stops in the morning um, i was at 40 something dollars <laughs> by the time i went to sleep um well woke back up and did one hour i made that 40 something dollars in one hour i only did two stops and then i completed though the tail end of a six dollar promotion that was about to end and um i finished my shopping pay promotion so boom they gave me an extra 21 dollars 21 21 okay so 40 something dollars you know in one hour was great spend time with the kids and everything like that um did those two little small stops that y'all just saw now we're about to flick on the doordash like pray for me because i hate doordash i y'all don't understand i i can't stand the interface of doordash i can't stand nothing about doordash but i'm gonna do it for two hours we'll see what happens because i can't flick on the other thing to eight like i might just pause myself and keep pausing myself because i just i don't know why i just can't stand doordash but I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm about to finish editing this video though until I get my first DoorDash stop. Not this video, but the video you probably already seen uh, day one, which was Friday. I denied the first two offers from DoorDash, so I guess I'm on DoorDash punishment. They haven't sent me an offer again yet. The first one was $20, but it was to go 16 miles. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. Maybe it would have had a hidden tip. I forgot DoorDash to hidden tips. <sighs> I should have took it home. I forgot DoorDash has hidden tips. Oh, I'm not driving 16 miles. That's a lot of miles for 20 bucks. But then you have to do two pickups because it was two pickups. It was going to the same location now, but it was two pickups. So, mm. should I have taken it? Y'all let me know. Okay. Should I have taken it? Y'all let me know. Ooh, no. no, I did mess up though. I should have took the $20 one because I forgot DoorDash has them secret tips and if they probably increased it with another $10 or something. I don't think 10, but it, it should have been a couple more dollars or something. I should have just did it. I forgot DoorDash is so much different than Uber Eats because normally Uber Eats, unless the customer goes on the back end and increase the tips, you, it's normally not a hidden tip. But on um, DoorDash, there's hidden tips, so. I probably never see a twenty dollar offer again. They like, okay, yeah, we ain't gonna get damn. Okay, not that's fine. Dang, I should have, cause Muya Burger is kind of expensive. I should have took that offer. Anyway, let's wait for an offer, and we'll do our first DoorDash in six weeks. <laughs> My, My first DoorDash. Okay, so. What is this saying? Oh, the navigation's coming up because it navigates for you. Um, but I took my first DoorDash. It's ten dollars, seven miles. You're like, girl, you want to go sixteen miles? No, I wasn't. But I'll go seven because this is highway miles. So I'm going to be just on the highway for the most part. Why not? And it's a straight ten dollars. Um, so my thing is, that if it's a straight ten dollars, does that just means that's what you're getting? Because there's no change on it because i thought it only changes if there's like a change on it like 0.25 or something like that but then i heard if it's over 20 dollars um i mean excuse me if it's over 
six dollars there's a chance of a hitting tip as long as it's over the 625 mark i have no idea how doordash works but this is an expensive restaurant called Raz. Well, it's not, no, it's a mid level restaurant. It's not expensive. It's mid level. It's Razoo's, okay? Like, when me and my boyfriend go to Razoo's, we spend, let me think, about 80 something, 85 for two people. And that's with an appetizer and two meals. So that's, that's pretty good, right? $85, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking 85 is about normal. Um, so. Let me pick up this Razoo's, I'll deliver it. I guess I'll find out afterward is if there's a hidden tip. I don't know, maybe I'll end up liking DoorDash. I don't know, but so far, I know I kind of feel bad about the $20 stop, but I remember with DoorDash, if you leave your zone, you could dash along the way, I think, to get back to your zone, but it kicks you out your zone. So if I would've took that stop, that would've took me all the way to Pflugerville, far into Pflugerville, I would've been far out my zone. And I forgot, you can't do that here. You got to stay in your zone. So this stop will keep me in zone, okay? This is weird to me, I swear. DoorDash is like a whole different thing. If they didn't tell me my Dash card would have stopped working if I don't have money on it soon, I wouldn't be doing this today. Plus, if, you know, I had to take a break because I overused my other thing, you know. But anyway let's go ahead and pick up this doordash and see what they do yo this thing takes you through a parking garage you have to park from the parking garage walk over to the actual apartments and then you drop off i hate these apartments i would take i have i know these apartments <laughs> but that's telling all my business my business <laughs> let me stop but no i talked to a dude that used to, to live over here like years ago, like years ago. Um, there are nice apartments on the inside though. But yeah, let me find a place to park. There ain't nowhere to park. And all these are reserved parking and shit. I don't want them to tow you, girl. I don't want to get towed, but I have to park. How did they skip a whole number? That's strange. All right, y'all, so right after, I'm trying to find the exit, so I had to focus because this little garage ramp thing is so trash. But anyway, um, right after I accepted uh, Uber Eats, because remember, we need three Uber Eats so we can get the extra $6. It's only going 2.8 miles. It's from Taco Cabana. So my main thing with Uber Eats is right now, sorry, it's dark in this little thing. My main thing with Uber Eats right now is to do close easy stops like so i can get the extra money plus make sure it makes sense i think the stop was worth five dollars or something i don't know i can't remember but it's right here so it's not far and i had to put doordash 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 on pause so she's on pause right now so pause <laughs> okay um but they sent me a good order i wish i could have took it it was chili's though it was not i mean it was seven dollars but it was only three miles so that's not bad um so i don't know i can keep it paused for 35 minutes before they'll kick me out so i'm gonna turn it back on in just a minute just not right this minute but yeah you can see me now yeah. Yeah. but anyway you know i got some now back on the dirt dash back on the dash who is that that talks like that meaty mama meta mama or something like that she like i'm back on the camp back on the dash she's so funny she has an autistic son too just like me so it's so funny when she's like she's like <laughs> you know <laughs> she's so funny though is she like dirt ash dirt ash <laughs> y'all check her out y'all need to check her out she is funny but anyway let's pick up this taco cabana and get these three stops so you can get the extra six and on top of getting the extra six let's do another DoorDash. like maybe I, I didn't get enough chances 
maybe I need to give it some more chances. So I'm gonna do DoorDash again. And why am I cheesing? <laughs> I don't know, cause my team look good. Cheese. <laughs> ah. All right, let's get to the drop off. It's 1.2 miles away. And of course we're going upstairs because you're ordering food. <laughs> you gotta live on the third floor, right? You, you just got to, if you don't live on the third floor, why are you ordering food? Like, could you just hop in your car and you go pick it up? But if you're on the third floor, you're gonna try to come down them stairs. So you go ahead and pay that extra 15, $20 for that meal. So you don't have to walk down the stairs and hey, it is what it is. Let's do this night shift right out. Basically, I'm about to drop off a double, a double treble, but two different addresses. I got one while I was on the way, because remember, every three gets you an extra $6. So um, I picked up a water burger, and then I'm picking up a 7-Eleven, and the water burger, I think, is worth five or six, and the 7-Eleven is worth 3 30 or something like that but it's not going much farther and she only had one item. So let's work the night shift, the night shift. Let's get the cash quick. The cash quick, we had one go, yo. And what's that 600 for the weekend? The weekend. All right, caution, wet paint. Okay, okay. Make sure I'm on the right side. I don't think I'm on the right side. Nope. Okay, I gotta go down somewhere. I hate when they're like that. Okay, the correct side is supposed to be in no pink. I already did it. All right, so we're back at the 7-Eleven. I took the stop because I had to get out of that neighborhood and this just took me back to where I was. And I'm a soda girl today because now I got to get a 12 pack soda. <laughs> Hello. I guess our little honey pot tonight is going to be 7-Eleven. I'm back again, but these are so convenient because I'm only going two, three miles at a time or whatever, and I can run back. And the quicker I get three done, the quicker I get that extra six. So let's go. They're not like us. They're not like us. Already on the second stop. Oh, goodness, can you see? Can you see, guys? We're on the second stop um, of the three to get this next promotion. I dropped off, came straight here. It was less than half a mile away, and I think the drop off is less than two miles away. I told you, this is quick, easy money. We got the Taco Bell. We're going to give them some hell. Let's go ahead and get this done and make sure that we get money like for real. For real. Y'all see how we just got that add on? <laughs> <laughs> so that will be number three. So within about 35 minutes, we gonna done had our three stops plus an additional $6 added on. And we ain't hardly go nowhere. Like, for real. <laughs> this is great. I think I might be able to clear the whole five. I really do. Uh, this is working out and everything's in a big circle. So I'm not going more than three, four miles at a time. All right, what? You're doing. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is 12 o'clock, so I am wrapping this thing up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, whatever footage I'm able to get a Saturday. Okay. Okay. Whatever I'm able to get for Saturday. Um, it's 12 o'clock. It's about to be a big thunderstorm, so I am done for the night. Plus, I want to go catch that new Cat Williams because I heard it came out tonight, so I want to go watch that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and get to the rest of the 200. How much do we have left? Find out now.